in here now? This is a travesty, a miscarriage of justice. I've done nothing. Except harassing Philip Spaulding. I didn't get my phone call either. Oh, somebody's gonna hear about that. Oh, you're just in time. The food's not so bad if you hold your nose. Well, I don't mean to be rude, but I ain't staying. You never know. Dinah. Hey, girl. I've got the top bunk. Someone is going to be so sorry they put me in here with you. You know what I'm capable of. Yes, I do. And you know who I am, of course. So, uh, all intros aside, what are you doing here? Assault, maybe. Battery. Oh, okay, so maybe a little cat fight in the jail cell? Should I call the guards over? I was interrupted while giving Philip Spaulding a piece of my mind, so I have a lot of pent-up frustration that I would love to work out. With me as your punching bag. Well, I'd ask you if I could fix my makeup, but, uh, okay. Go for it. Give me your best shot. That doesn't sound like the Dinah I know. Shrinking Violet? Well, the last time you saw me, I wasn't a fugitive for years. I mean, that tends to work on your stanima a bit. I've had plenty of time to think about the mistakes I've made, Riva. And you've discovered the error of your ways. Is that the angle, Dinah? I talked to Cassie. She told me how sorry you are. I am. I am. I have made some horrible mistakes, Riva, and they're catching up to me. I know that my only chance to have any kind of life hinges on me making some serious life changes. If I don't, I'm doomed. And I really do want to make this up to Cassie. Any way I can to her family, to all of you, I want to do it for all of them, for myself, and especially because it's what Hart would have wanted. And you don't believe a word I'm saying. I know you, Dinah. You're poison. You're here to get back at Cassie and her entire family. And I have to go through you first. Is that it? You can try. But I guarantee it'll be the last thing you ever do. No offense, Reva, but what could you possibly do to me that has not already been done? Well, you see, the last time you were here, I didn't do enough to protect my sister. So what are you going to do now? Are you going to suffocate me with a pillow? Are you going to, like, call the guard, put some glass in my food? Is that who you are now? Things have changed, Dinah. My kids are out of the country. Josh is busy trying to hang on to a place that means more to us than anywhere else in this world, so... He caught me at a bad time. You hurt my sister, and I will hurt you. Come with me. Wait a minute! That... What, what is this? It, no, that makes total sense. You take her and you leave me in here. Do you know what she's done? Back away from the gate. Ugh. Look. You should be glad I'm here, you know? You should be glad that I'm back. Oh. Your family, I know they've been sort of leaving you alone lately, flying the coop, but now you can put all your energy into keeping oh. Big Bad Dinah away from your little sister. Hey! Oh. What is it with you? Oh, God. Oh. What is your problem? How can you ask that question with a straight face? What is this about? Us. You know, the amount of time you're spending here, one might think you're the prisoner instead of me. I am, Dinah. Since you've been back in town, I'm trapped. I can't move forward, I can't go back. I can't do anything until you tell me about the past few years. The years you spent being me. I was using you to get by. And that's all it was. Would you want more? As hard as it is to believe, yes, I was trying to stay out of prison. So what'd you do, pick my name out of a hat? because you could have stolen anyone's identity. This has been about me all the way back to when you pulled that trigger and you killed Hart. So you tell me everything or I'll walk out of here and I'll let you fry. You know, this is a waste of my time and I know it is. Tell me. What? 
Like you don't already know? I wanted your life, Cassie. I wanted all of it. So I took it. I wanted your life, Cassie. I, I don't know if there's any other way to put it. You had something that I dreamt of. You had children and you had love. And despite everything that you went through, you had the genuine happily ever after. And being on the run, how was I ever going to get any of those things? I figured you, you just can't wish for those things to happen. You have to go out and earn what you want. Or steal. No, you're missing my point. You have to be worthy of anything you get in life. You have to deserve whatever it is you're going after. And I was never going to be that kind of person. So I had to change. You become someone else. That's called insanity, Dinah. No. No, not if, not if you really look at it. Because, see, people treated me with compassion. They were genuine and they were thoughtful, all because they thought I was you. They were kind to me because they thought I was It was someone. a fantasy. Dinah, a fantasy. It didn't bother you that people were doing all those things because you lied? Oh, it bothered me. Yes, that was probably the most awful part. Because, you see, there was an empty hole that was inside of me. And that hole was who I really was. Yes, it was driving me crazy pretending to be you. Because every time I did it, I got further and further away from being just me. Then why not come clean? Why come to my house and manipulate RJ into thinking you were his friend? I care for RJ, not just because he's Hart's son, but because he's yours. I, I would never hurt him. I ran into that barn to get him, to save him. My God, Cassie, I am different. My life is different. And I know what I did pushed the edge of sanity or reason. But you wanted to know what this is all about, and I'm telling you, and you can believe it or not. But I fell into a pit that was deeper than any human will ever go. And I, by God, fought my way back and got my life back, and I am proud of that. Even though I am going to spend the rest of my life locked up. I am sorry, Cassie. Well, there's no blood on the floor. Everything's fine. I'm done. What'd you say to her? Things that she probably didn't want to hear, but she asked. <laughs> and look at that, everyone's still breathing and alive. Isn't that great? That should count for something, don't you think? Yeah. Barely. <sighs> still alive and ready to move on. I know I am. Yeah, well, unfortunately, the only place you're moving on to is your jail cell. Home sweet home, huh? For now. You might have talked a good game with Cassie, but look where you are, hmm? And you're not going anywhere. As a matter of fact, you may never get out of here. You shouldn't talk like that. I'd like to think of the glass as half full. If you do manage to somehow con Cassie and she helps you out, you better treat her right. And if I don't? Don't test me. You like to say things like that, but what exactly do they mean? What is the thing you plan to do to me in case I cross you? You keep pushing me, and you're going to find out what I'm willing to do. Still so protective of Miss Winslow. Hmm? Silvery isn't dead, and neither are your feelings for her. Always got to have the last word. Yeah. Well, Dinah. Listen to this. 